Right, hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video, this is a bit of a different one. I'm going to be going over how I passed my theory test and what I did to prepare myself in preparation for passing my theory test. How I revised, what I revised, where I revised, and just things like that really. I've been so busy over the last few weeks I haven't had time to actually go out on my bike and make a new video. So I'm just recycling my, I think it's my first ever video um, of me actually out on my bike to uh, put this voiceover over and show you how I prepared for my theory test. So let's get into it. So basically what I did is I typed in on Google theory test practice to get to the gov.uk website. I'll be putting all of the, the links to everything that I used in the uh, the bio. So if you are interested in how I prepared myself for the theory test, then uh, just check the bio. It'll be in there. Um, I'll play some screenshots on screen now as well as to what website I used and uh, and things like that. So once you're on the uh, gov.uk website and it says take a practical theory test, uh, you can, you've got selections for cars, motorcycles, lorries, buses and coaches. Obviously we want the motorcycles one, so we click that. It then brings up a practice theory test one for motorcyclists. It has 50 questions, you need to get 43 correct to pass and you'll have 57 minutes to do it. It is plenty of time to do it, so don't like stress yourself over the time limit. 57 minutes is a lot of time to be able to do it. So don't stress over that bit. Once you go through this test, the practice theory test, do it once, see how you get on. Uh, make a note of what questions you found difficult. Uh, go back over your questions, your answers, see what questions you thought you got right but got wrong or thought you got wrong but got right. All you need to do is just embed that into your brain it sounds easier than it is, but it really is easy. All I kept on doing was this theory test over and over and over again until I was getting 49 out of 50 or 50 out of 50 questions and made sure I knew everything there was on this practice theory test. Because I don't think it, this theory test on the gov.uk website actually changes the questions at all. I think it's the same questions every time you do it. So it's a great way of getting to know uh, what questions you're going to be asked because... I would say majority of the questions in here um, I personally had on my theory test so I'd fully recommend anyone to go on it and do the, the theory test practice theory test online on the gov.uk website because it's it's just so handy I did also download a uh, app on my phone so I could do it on the go as well practice when I'm not sat at home um, with a computer to hand where I can just sit and, and focus uh, so I'll put the link to the theory test one that I used in the bio as well it's on iOS. I have no idea if it's on Android or not. I can imagine it will be. Um, it is free, but you can pay for like extra things. Like uh, on the Hazard Perception, you can pay for more videos and things like that. Um, I what I did is just went over the tests constantly, over and over and over again, until I was getting consistently forty-seven qu plus questions correct. Yeah, I just drummed it into myself so much. Uh, about different things. Uh, there was a question on there that I really, really got um, a little bit bothered about. It was about coming onto the dual carriageway and what should you do when you enter onto the dual carriageway. Uh, the options I think were um, stick at 60 miles an hour, don't move into a, another lane except the inside lane, or it was check the the width of the centre reservation. Um, in, and in like as soon as I saw that question, I was like, oh, okay, stick, stick do 60 miles an hour, that will do. Uh, but it's not. It's the uh, check the set the center reservation uh, width, which I would never have known if I didn't do the theory test over and over and over again. And different ones like getting persistently 47, 48, 49, 50 marks out of 50 um, on the gov.uk and on the uh, the app itself. Moving on to the hazard perception. Uh, again, I've done this on the gov.uk website as well as well as the app. Get three test clips on the. Uh, gov.uk website once you've done the three test clips and you know when to click so when you've done those three three clips over and over again you know what to look for uh, you know when to look for the hazard when to click and when not to click first off i i couldn't get my head around it when to click do i click when the when the the hazard was near me or when you first see the hazard and it turns out it's like when you first see the hazard you need to be clicking on the mouse uh, to get maximum points uh, the quicker you see it and notice it, the high points you get really. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one, uh, and then after that, you don't get any points if you click out of that little little zone. 
But again, I just went over the hazard perception test on the Cover UK website over and over and over and over again until I was getting it right all the time, uh, as well as the app on my phone as well, doing the hazard perception on there. There are plenty of apps available to be able to do this, uh, get your theory test done. If you're if you're thinking about getting your theory test done, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Get you, get some practice in. Do plenty of mock tests. And the theory test itself is around twenty twenty five pounds to to book. So it's not a massive chunk of money, but if you're 16, 17 and you're booking this, you, you don't want to be failing to pay for it again to come back and, and then do it again. So do as much revision as you can. Get those tests done. Make sure you're passing every single practice mock test. So on the multiple choice part, the pass mark is 43. Um, and on the hazard perception part, the pass mark is 44. Uh, I think you get 14 hazard perception, 12 to 14 hazard perception clips. And there are 50 multiple choice questions. Once you get them done, you'll be good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, sorry it's a bit of a, a random, different video, but I I needed to get a video out this week. I'm I'm trying to stick to my upload schedule of one video a week, getting it done, and just trying to hold myself accountable for uploading videos because I really enjoy it. I really enjoy making videos. I really enjoy uploading videos. So, again, apologies for this random, non-actual motorcycle video, but I really wanted to get this theory test one out. Because uh, I've, I've had so many people in the comments uh, mentioning that they're going to do their theory test soon, they've booked their theory test, so it'd be nice to give give them, give you guys a bit of background as to how how it goes really and how my experience went um, of experiences at the actual test centre. It was really, really easy and simple to get in and set up. Uh, you can have like headphones on and things like that. So if you if you you want to do that to to block out other people now, I chose not to have headphones but then I put the headphones on my head to kind of trick my my mind into blocking out other people's like keyboards and clicking and things like that anyway thank you very much for watching guys if you have please make sure you drop a like make sure you subscribe for more videos uh, onto my net mod one next so I'll be doing plenty of like mod one mod one preparation videos get that mod one done past and I can think about my mod two get that booked as well we get that full bike license i cannot wait so thank you very much guys for watching guys uh i hope you have enjoyed i'll uh i'll catch you in the next video thank you very much bye bye